Welcome to Seth Craft. In this video, we're going to be installing the fascia and soffit here on this 10 by 12 outbuilding. If you're interested in that, then continue watching. The first step to get the fascia and soffit installed is to do a little bit of blocking up under here. So you'll notice that there is nothing to attach to on this corner. And so we're going to be doing two blocks. One is going to go from this edge right here over underneath this and it's going to attach to this rafter over here. And then after that one is installed, we're going to do another block from this corner here for extra support on this gap right here. Now the material that's gonna go on the fascia is called Miratech, and it is a compressed wood and it's been primed already. We're gonna be using the other side, which is smooth. But So that right there is gonna go on the fascia side right here, up here as well and then on the back. So let's go ahead and get started getting these blocks installed. The first board needs to span from right in here out to the edge of the eave. And so we're gonna measure that. Should be somewhere around 33 inch. And we'll have to notch to get over this right here. Now this board doesn't have to go flush with the outside of the building. Um, as close as we can get is fine. So we're actually gonna go flush with this edge out that way. All right, we do have 33 and three quarters. Now I also need to notch out about four inches to go around this top plate up here. And that needs to occur at uh, 19 and three quarter inch. For good measure, I'm going to step this notch back to 19 and a half, just to prevent having to go back and forth up here. I need to go out about four inches. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna set the depth of my saw to three quarter inch. To hopefully save a little bit of time, I'm going to plunge cut into the wood here with my circular saw. Let's go ahead and get this board through here and see how we did on our cuts. How are you on yours? About right there. The soffit that goes from up here down this way will now end just slightly off from this board. So that just gives us a surface to nail to on the end. And now we have to install a block that goes from right here over to this. So it will kind of bridge the gap here and give us a little extra to attach to. Our roof has somewhere around a three and a half, 12 pitch. And uh, to get this board to fit up in here, I'm going to place this corner right here on the edge and then use my straight edge over here to uh, hopefully find this angle. So anyway, I'm just gonna mark right here. And that should be the cut that I need. So I've got this board cut here. We'll go ahead and get this back here into position. And now I need to notch out for this top plate. So let me just mark here where that needs to be. And then we go up right about here. Okay, and I should be able to cut from here back about three quarter of an inch and it should give us what we need. Where are you going for placement, like here? Yeah, just somewhere about midway. Give a little extra support in there. This side has been completed. We have attached this support right here, which will allow the edge of this 10 foot section of uh, soffit to fit onto. And we've added this board here, which kind of bridges this long gap for this piece of soffit to attach to. Now, this piece of soffit is gonna go all the way to the end and attach to this right here. And then this one right here is going to be flush with the side of the building, going up flush with the side up there as well. Now that we have the blocking done to hold up the soffit, we're gonna measure for the fascia. So we're gonna measure just from the front edge so we can get this front piece on first. 197 and three quarters. To make the hanging of these boards a lot easier, we're going to pre-place some screws here. Yep. 
put screws along the top edge. I'm gonna go back and put some nails just to make sure this doesn't flap around in the wind. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut this side. So the angle here, we're gonna just let the board go all the way out. And I'm gonna use a flat cut saw to uh, trim to match the angle we have. So right now, just gonna measure this full length. We're using a piece of scrap Miratech on the end to represent the backboard. So that's 148. 148. So if we add an extra like three inches, I can cut it off. Uh, once again, just flush enough with it. So come my way about another foot. Finish getting the fascia on the front and both sides. Now the back is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna use, instead of this uh, Miratech board, we're gonna use some fiber cement board because it is so much thinner. Now one of the reasons for that is because our drip edge here doesn't have a lot of surface to nail to. And so uh, if we were to use this Miratech board, which is an inch, it would not give us any room to nail to. And so by using that quarter inch right here, we'll be able to access this no problem. One of the downsides is that fiberboard can be a little bit difficult to cut. And so we're gonna to have to use a razor knife and score it and pop it. So the fiberboard is just a little bit bigger than the Miratech. And so we're going to match up a piece of scrap and then use a pencil to mark. And we'll just keep sliding this down until we have this drawn out. And then we're gonna use razor knife to score this several times. And then we'll be able to uh, hopefully pop that edge off and we'll have one nice clean edge that'll be visible and one that's been popped for underneath the drip edge. If we are to push on this bottom piece right here or even give it a light hammer, it breaks where we've scored it. Yeah, it looks decently smooth. So, you gonna do your end flush or my end flush? Your end. Okay. The fascia is now complete and we have finished the blocking for the soffit. Let's go ahead and get the soffit installed. And that's going to be everywhere you see this gap between the building and the fascia here. So all of that is gonna be covered in a material that has slits cut in so that it can uh, allow air passage. So we've already done a test piece over here to make sure we have this good to go. And as you can see right here, it is installed and doing well. So let me walk you through the process of getting this installed. Our test piece of soffit was perfectly 11 and a quarter inch all the way across. Let's see how we do on this side. So we've got 11 and a half right here. 11 and a quarter. If we went 11 and a quarter the whole way, like we did before, we could, uh, our trim will cover up. Yeah. yeah. And as far as the length of our board, uh, 146 and a half. So we need 11 and three quarter inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my tape measure out here and mark 11 and a quarter. And then I can reverse my tape measure over here and see that uh, four and three quarter is gonna be removed from this side. So now I can use my speed square that just happens to have a four and three quarter inch mark right here. And I can slide this along this piece to make my line that I'm going to rip cut this off. So uh, we're just getting back out here to work on this first thing in the morning. And I think neither of our brains are working yet. <laughs> um, we intended on measuring from the edge of the building and not the full length of this uh, for the soffit. And so we're going to remeasure, recut. Luckily, we went the other way and not uh, cut too short in the beginning. Go your way a little bit. All right. Yeah. 
Pro tip that I forgot to do on the front piece, take a pencil and mark on your Tyvek where that stud is, and that will help you to uh, get these screws installed whenever you go to put that piece of soffit up there. The previous piece of soffit that we installed is off by about a quarter inch here. So I'm going to notch out this next piece right here. And then there's a bit of a wave along the fascia here. And so I'm gonna cut out about another quarter inch on this side right here. And let me show you what that's gonna look like. So right here is where that previous piece is. I'm gonna cut that. And then over here, I just need to shave off from about this spot right here down to right here, just to get enough of that off to fit in here. After about two hours of work, we finally have the soffit installed. Ran into a few little snags where we didn't have quite enough material, but we made it work. So let me show you around real quick. This piece over here, we accidentally cut uh, we, well, we measured from the edge all the way when we actually only wanted uh, to go right here. So we had to cut that again, but it worked out in the end. It goes all the way down to here. Now we are going to be putting some uh, Miratech trim boards to cover this seam right here, just for aesthetic reasons. And we'll also be putting a piece of trim right here along the edge to hide that as well. Now back here is where we had to uh, make a little bit of an adjustment. We put a support board up under here because we had to piece together in order to save having to buy a new uh, sheet. And then right here, we have got this little uh, patch job, but it turned out good enough, I have a feeling. All right, go down here. So this initial, whoa, step down. This uh, initial piece we put on worked out really well over here. And uh, anyway, it's just looking good. So the soffit is now finished the fascia, and the blocking underneath. Thank you so much for watching this video on the fascia and soffit. If you've enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and make sure you are subscribed. There are still plenty of steps to go here on building this 10 by 12 outbuilding. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.